Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. You might have noticed that the uh, playtime is a little bit different from the uh, last save I made. And that's because we had a power outage and I lost all of my save data. So, the most recent episode is episode 11 and I recorded enough footage for episode 12. Um, but then we had a power outage and nothing nothing got saved and because the, like the, the files for Elgato and... The audio recording didn't save. And because the game was saving at the time of the power outage, my fucking save data also got corrupted. So that's... That's just awesome. So... I spent the last day working back up to the exact same spot that I was at at the ep <coughs> ending of episode 11. So... Yeah, I'm completely sobered up. I did have another couple episodes where I was still... Feeling pretty good from episode 11, but this unfortunately, like I said, due to the complications of the power weapons. outage, it's a couple of days later right after I've worked my way back up to the same. We'll have to be sure and tell them if we see any. These things look really weird. They look like old men with their great beards. <clears throat> okay. On the bright side, though. Playing through this game again, like, just in my off time, was able to really, really figure out a lot more of the, um, sort of way this game works, and I really did just blitz through, like, what originally took me almost ten hours, I was able to blitz through in about three to four hours, because I had a much deeper, better understanding of how everything in this game worked, thanks to the amount of playtime I'd done on it already. So hopefully that means that I'll be able to blitz through some battles a little bit faster, I've optimized the characters a little bit better, all of their equipment is still the exact same, I just, the crystalline system for leveling, I just I did a few things differently on the two characters. But yeah, we're, we're back and the series can continue, which is great. It's like, I'm gonna be honest, uh, uh, a little bit, a little bit unsure of whether I should have just left the series after that happened because the only other option was to basically just restart the entire game. So, yeah, like I said, I was able to really glitch through it, skip all the cutscenes, and just spend a day working back up to this point. But yeah, I was I was seriously considering just ending the series because it felt a little bit. But on the bright side, we're back playing it, and I really wanted to finish this game, so. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and finish it. And we are on disc two, so we're we're doing we're doing good. We've got what like six hours to get through disc one and then another forty-five minutes to get back to this point, so yeah, yeah we go. But kind of blitzing through this game a little bit faster than I thought I was. Considering we got the disc two a lot as well, which makes me wonder if the um, when you look up this game on uh, how long it's been, it, uh, it says about 40 hours or so. And I'm thinking that's if you watch all of the cutscenes that be that. Oh, damn it! I'm just trying to get to my heal class. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Click the wrong button. So I'm a, I'm a little bit lower lower energy today just because obviously it's a it's a lot to play that much of a game in one sitting. I very rarely play games more than a couple of hours. Uh, kind of how I work with this game is I record about maybe three four episodes. <laughs> In one sitting, that's what I've done for the last <coughs> five episodes, was just record a few in one sitting, but 
but I doesn't matter what the game is, I tend to lose a bit of I don't know, as I've gotten older, it's just gotten a little bit harder to sort of sit in front of a computer and play games all day, you know. Good call. Obviously got other stuff to worry about a lot of time. Here. Oh. And also editing these videos in particular take a, take a lot longer. Take a lot longer to edit than any of my other videos and the Final Fantasy ones and a lot of that is just due to Holy crap, these videos take ages to go through all the footage and render everything and sync everything up. How about this, Light? Come on, Light. Maybe we should try something else. Hit! So I'm sure I've probably got some antidotes. Blame stuff somewhere, but it's honestly just easier to switch between healing class and then just to switch back to attack class. I find a lot, a lot of the time. Still got no idea how the bloody star system works though, because I got a goddamn three star on a fight when I was playing through by myself, where <clears throat> didn't even get both characters down to half health and got the stagger on both the enemies and just blitzed through it, and still somehow I got four stars. So. I got no idea how the rating works, I'm honestly just convinced it's random at this point. I actually don't think how it matters how you approach a combat scenario, I think it's just random. But I have figured out that the, uh, the best strategy to get the stagger out on a lot of these enemies is to have someone using magic, because magic builds up the stagger gauge a lot quicker. As you'll see here with those fireballs, they're going up by a fair bit. But then lightning's like basic attack it only takes them up by a point at a time. But due to commando class, which is what lightning is, their stagger gauge drops a lot slower. So as long as you got someone playing as a commando, the stagger gauge sticks around a lot, a lot longer. Doesn't drain as quickly as just pure magic. Hey, that was a five star, hell yeah. Oh yes, chest balls and these things that somehow didn't see me. It's all or nothing. Problem with magic though in this game it does a lot less damage than most. There are some enemies that are highly susceptible to magic damage. But most of them really aren't very susceptible to magic. And uh, like I said, I respect these guys a little bit differently, so I've been just leveling parts magic like a lot. So I really want this magic to be really powerful because the primary magic user. Oh, three stars, again, don't know why. I felt like I got through that one pretty quickly and easily. Oh, chest ball, antidote. Too bad I never use them. Like ever, literally. I I've barely used I I think the only items I've actually had to use are Phoenix Downs, and that was only during two very specific fights. Stay down. <clears throat> that um that battle with Odin that I had a little bit of trouble with in the recording. When I went back and refought him, just because I knew how that battle worked, like I already knew his battle conditions without Libra, I understood them a lot better. Like I just, just absolutely another blasted through that fight. Like that was really easy once you. Like this whole game, once you figure out, like you sort of have basic understanding of how the mechanics of combat work, you can blitz through. Like in this game, really quickly. Most of the time, you literally would be taking up your cutscenes. It's, uh, it's quite fun, actually. We're gonna take out this silver lobe first, though, because I hate these. But holy crap, I feel like I've been in this area for just for ages. Like, longer than any other area, even though it's been shorter than any other area thus far. I don't know why. I don't know why this area in particular is just feeling real. Real, like a Stay down! I mean, it's probably just because it's like kind Be of a boring environment, fight. honestly. 
Which sounds weird of me to say, considering that, like, everything around, like, it looks, like, cool enough in terms of the design they've gone for, but... I feel like I've just been travelling through, like, a thousand of the same room by this point. Huh. Oh, that was a good noise. I Caged kind of, like, in like the killed. animals. Sorry, We've beaten, like, ten of this guy already. Feral behind. Yeah, I think I've already battled multiple feral behinds in this area alone, so I don't know why this one is such a big deal. Well, maybe I haven't fought a feral one, so I don't know what he's on. Um, Stagger gauge totally is question marks, but I'm guessing it'll probably be 200 or 150 because that's usually what these guys are. Maybe 120. I'm lucky. Yeah, okay, 120. Just jump straight up 222, though. God, I love that launch ability. It's just devil made. So, if only Lightning had two guns so she could just juggle in the air. And takes damage on the down part. Dude, that launch ability has just actually broken half the fights in this game, and I'm like, look how much airtime you can keep these guys at. What a joke. What a joke of a battle. Had a cutscene and everything like it was supposed to be something security big alarm. and menacing. The observation battalion will I'll be have coming. we now. Let them come. Who are they? Who are they? So they definitely seem to be fleshing her out a little bit more. He's gone from less of a mopey little bitch to more of an edgy, like, edge lord. He's turned from hope into shadow the hedgehog. That's never a good thing. It's never a good thing. You, you either live long enough to stay an edge lord, or you become shadow the hedgehog. You die edgy or live long enough to see yourself become shadow the hedgehog. Holy Jesus, that's a lot of these things. With that being said, I really, really hate this game in one area in particular. And that's that I hate that it keeps switching who I'm in control of. Like, it's so boring to play just nothing to him. Stay down! Yeah, or not. I guess, the, you know, I guess that's fair when I'm sitting there this. smashing the button to open the Paragon Shift and it won't. Come on, retry. Hurry up. Holy crap, I think this might be like one of the largest groups of enemies that I've come up against thus far. Okay. Let's get an attack off. We'll go for an auto chain. Once we get this chain off, we'll switch him over to War and Peace and he can just keep us alive. Because let's face it, hope is really being a healing class, I've noticed. And the worst part about this game, like, this is the other reason why I hate that it keeps switching who I'm in control of all the time, because if I die, I can't select to use a phoenix down, but if they die, I can, and I feel like as long as this party member's still alive, I should just be able to switch whoever the hell is still alive, or, you know, Kingdom Hearts style, where I can just, like, create a party order and everything. Like, why can't I just switch the party leader back to bloody lightning? Because if that is a feature that I can do, I've not seen it, and I've yet to read it Take anywhere five. online. This game does still hold up pretty visually. Like, pretty nice visual-wise. This game is on PC, too, isn't it? Like, this is on PC. This is on Steam, I'm pretty sure. You know what we should do while we're What's eating stuck you? in cutscene hell again? Okay, I can tell you're hung up on something. I'm gonna turn my laptop on. Is it the Lissy thing? I'm gonna turn my laptop on. We're gonna open Steam. It's and I wanna now, read some reviews for this game. So I wanna, I wanna know what people uh, people think of uh, Final Fantasy XIII. The, uh, I mean, really, when you really think about it, it is the definitive Final Fantasy game. You wouldn't understand. I feel like majority of this game is just like fantasy babble that they just—they just feel like they're making it up as they go along at this point. 
Like, even though it's all scripted, pre-written and everything, it feels like whoever the hell did the original script for this just got stuck after, like... Because of him. Ten pages of dialogue. And they're like, oh shit, you mean I've got to stretch this out to 50 hours worth of cutscenes? I can't do that, man. That's impossible. It's impossible. brew. I'm gonna open my drink while I wait for steam to load. It's on his fault. <sighs> and he needs to pay for it. I'm not going to run yet, one game. But I will be. Like soon. It's on a gaming laptop. That's why I followed you. So I've got a I've got a gaming PC already, so I didn't need a gaming laptop. This is just more for work shit, but. Snow I found out it can run Dark Souls 2 at uh, max you resolution, me? so Your sister with, uh, Sarah? 60 frames a second, no slowdown. So I was, I was pretty happy. He's only running an Intel Pentium in it. <sighs> Store featured. Let's see, Final Fantasy 13. Let's have a look at some reviews if it ever loads. I've got oh, thank God I'm playing as Lightning again. It's all I've wanted. Oh. <clears throat> This game's really good at making you hate certain characters. And by certain characters, I mean hard. Oh yeah, more of these things. Alright, was that fun? Let's go for it, I reckon. While I'm fighting these guys, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Okay, Final Fantasy XIII on Steam is eighteen dollars fifty apparently, and apparently you have to verify if you're an adult, which I've never had on an M-rated game. I'm not looking at the screen, so if I'm losing, I'm terribly sorry. Right? Be ready for the next fight. Oh, okay, I won. Sweet, I wasn't even looking. And five stars. I wasn't even looking the whole time. Yay. Well, Final Fantasy XIII on PC is sitting at a mostly positive, which is always a good sign. Okay, there's another area of background here, which usually means a chest bowl. No, it's just a gate. You know what to do. Okay, let's just let's just read what the uh, the most helpful <laughs> for this game on PC. One of my favorite games of all time. And I even have a tattoo to match Sarah's Lassie brand. Okay, good for you. Good for you. I wish lightning was my mummy. It's a bit weird. Nostalgia. My first video game ever back in 2010. Overhated and underrated. Dude, I'm not reading half of these, they're like a million times. Yeah, screw it. You know what? Let's take a helpful reviews. Let's just see what negative reviews are about this game. Let's just see what people think is bad about this game. Because my god, I can tell you so many, so many negative things about this game. Like, it's just so many. Yeah, chest ball, bring it back. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Stop, to me. I'm sure we'll find out what that does eventually when I have to respec. But I'm assuming I won't have to respec for a while. <coughs> Oh god, I can't stop sneezing. <coughs> oh, why can't I stop sneezing? So far so good. Let's pick up the oh, god, I'm gonna have to grab some Zertek or something if I can't stop sneezing. This is just ridiculous, I don't know why. I'm in my bedroom, I never sneeze this much when I'm in my bedroom. Oh yay, cutscene. Alright, time to sort by negative reviews and take some LG meds.
Oh, she's so hot. Could I use one of those? Bit too heavy for you. Okay. Did Lightning just call him a weak little bitch? I feel like that's what that implied. By the way, where is Snow? Like, we just keep getting these flashbacks to Snow. I don't know where he is. He got abducted, like, you became ten episodes ago, and I haven't so seen him since. So now you're gonna marry this idiot? And you think I'm gonna buy that? <coughs> Full points for originality. But don't forget, I, see, I feel like her voice really actress are, changed. It's my job to deal with you. The port on PC is yes. absolutely shameful. Is one this of the first negative reviews that Worst comes up that isn't ever. a novel. <laughs> Wait, Sarah. Jesus, really? People really like just writing novels. What a mess! Why won't you believe no her? You kidding me? She gets Don't made a buy a Square and Enix game, you will have no Lightning customer support stopped. at all. No, you stop they it. just grab Get your cash, that's it. Her out. I send a message at Square Enix customer service 40 day later, no answer. I send them a message on Twitter, no answer. So don't put yourself at Fine. risk. I'll do it. I'll okay. protect her. <coughs> I enjoyed this on console, but the PC port is beyond pathetic. It constantly crashes your computer, removes you, you ability to use you mouse, and unlike every other game in existence, the escape key will immediately freeze and crash it instead of pausing or going back. Worst port I have ever seen, period. Ooh, she switched to a high quality model. God, a high quality model looks good. The whole game needs to look like... They need to remaster this game in particular, but just, like, switch everyone to, like, their high quality, like, pre-rendered models. How practical. Really, that'd be awesome. We interrupt this program to bring you an urgent God, isn't it crazy to think that back in, like, late last night, you know, the early 2000s, like, PlayStation 2 era of gaming, they'd have, like, these Bowen. awesome pre-rendered cutscenes, and we'd all be like, oh man, if only the game looked like that, and nowadays, these old pre-rendered cutscenes look worse than in-game graphics most of the time. This God is damn, we've come a long way. Late last night, officials confirmed the presence of Pulse Valsi inside the city of Bodom. And that pulse foul C was Sarah. Sarah. I should have listened to you. Jeez, this review sounds like it could have been uh, written out by me. I'll read this. I'll, I'll definitely read this one out when we get to the next uh, confrontation because it, this actually could have been written by me. I feel. Walk through long corridors, watch long cutscenes, walk through long corridors, battle, repeat everything. That's pretty much it. The story was interesting in the beginning, but it feels too much drag as the game goes through. The good side is the characters are interesting and this game has an easy mode for beginners, like me, at this type of battle. I seriously find half of that incomprehensible. Alright then. They should have left that that entire review. Could have actually been left to walk through long corridors, battle, repeat, like that, that. I feel like that's what they could have done. Uh, okay, hang on. I shouldn't have read that. Ah, oh, damn it. Didn't have enough time. Alright, uh, that's my bad. I got distracted reading shit out and I didn't realize how many enemies were actually in this fight. I thought it was only those two Lobos. Damn, them snails can really, uh. Can really overwhelm you in a group. That's uh. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it again. <laughs> but this time, let's do it smarter. Time to switch it up. Let's just keep dickhead as a medic the whole time so I can just. Because you know what? Screw battle ratings. I don't know how they work. And I can't be bothered. So I hope you just heal because your attacks are the broad side of fucking useless most of the time. And we'll just leave lightning to be hardcore attack. Here. Good call. Jesus Christ, stop doing that. Use fucking blitz. Come on, light. 
Seriously, you need to be hitting multiple shit at once, you dumb guy. Okay, that's where the auto battle falters. Like, there's so many scenarios where you can be using gears. And it doesn't. Or, like, you can be using something else that it doesn't. Though, with how much everyone runs around the battlefield here, I feel like it'd be better if I could just, like, control them a little bit, like, Tails of Hysteria, so you can just, like, kind of walk backwards to, like, avoid, like, oncoming attacks sometimes. Are there any other... Hang on, I should look that up if there's any other games for that sort of armor system. Because, like, the... Semi um, action, like RPG style, where you just have like minimal control over your character, I've always found sort of works in a lot of these games. Like, it doesn't need to be full ARPG, like, um, you know, Berseria or Kingdom Hearts, but I feel like Tales of Zesteria, where you can just like do those little movements, really helps out a lot in combat. <coughs> Let's see if there's any other negative reviews worth reading. <laughs> The game is pretty good, but the PC port sucks ass. Even if you fix the frame rate, pre-rendered video and cutscene audio with mods, it still crashed consistently on several places, which made me lose progress many times, given that you can't save anywhere. It's definitely playable, but I recommend playing it on PS3 or Xbox One slash series through... Go, through B... What the fuck? People need to learn how to eat this, man. On PS3 or Xbox One slash Series through BC. What the fuck does that mean, my dude? And you can't even say that it's like a, someone who doesn't speak English as their first language, because the rest of it is in like perfect, semi-perfect English. <coughs> Ooh, was, that a, was that a new sword? I think that was a new sword. Was that one? Okay, stronger mana magic, but but it's a level one. So hang on, what's Gladius at? One thirty-eight, one two one. <laughs> I feel like if I level that up a little bit, it might be might be better. But we're gonna stick with Gladius because I'm not downgrading to a weaker weapon. <laughs> I don't know what the level cap on weapons in this game is, though. I don't know if you can just, um, you know, infinitely keep leveling them up or if they have a cap. Holy crap, there's like 20,000 reviews in this game. Hit. Stay down! Someone's just said, put the Microsoft Store version on the Steam. So, is there a PC version available different to the Steam one? Is that Keep what up I'm with me, supposed Hope. to glean from that? Jesus Christ, you're a pure man. You didn't realize how low your health was getting. I was too busy. It's too busy, I'm sorry. But these things die quite easily. I should just be a, ta just be a target of these troll things. First, but I like to let the game do its auto battle thing because it. I'm sure that there's something to this. I mean, right now, like, if I if I start doing the super like combat like I was doing to blitzer everything, it's gonna be a lot less commentary because it requires like a shitload of focus to like really do like the most optimized battling in this game. You the wrong I think a lot of people don't actually realize it does take a lot of. It does take a lot to like focus on your that toes. Much to be able to do commentary and play at the same time. But on the bright side, I'll get. Okay, so I'll get one more of these attacks on this guy. Right? Under commander. So check out that stagger bar, how quickly it's going down. Time now to switch it up. Dual cast. And look at how fast this is going to go up now you'll switch to magic. And now we switch Follow back to Slash and Burn. We should be able to get some real good damage off. 
But yeah, if you need to get stagger up in this game, just just switch everyone to casters after hitting them once with someone on a commando skill. So if they're running commando, hit them, like, do two attacks off on the commando strain, and then switch everyone to magic, and that stagger bar will just fucking fill up like no tomorrow, and then you just switch everyone back to just, like, straight up damage, and it'll just, like, oh, makes combat against a lot of things go real quick. I'm gonna go look ahead. <coughs> you do that, man. You go look ahead. I'm not gonna bother... I'm not gonna bother saving yet. And yes, I know I just talked about having a power outage and everything, but you know what, at this point, I don't Nothing really care. I if I lose progress again, then I... Doesn't huh. matter if I save or not, if I, if I lose, like, any sort of progress again, like, I'm just I'm giving up. <laughs> Given up and I'm playing this game on Steam. So it's that way I can play it on a laptop with battery power. <laughs> Keep it up. And I'm sure I can. You know, let's see what the system spec for this game even is. I can't imagine it'd be too insane to buy. Imagine it'd probably be a very large system needed to find out. Holy crap, you barely need to, like, anything to run this game according to these specs. <laughs> and I, I swear the first, like, one of the first times I ever played this game was on a laptop. And I didn't experience, like, any of, like, this frame drop stuff that people were talking about. So, I, maybe that's just, like, a really, like, isolated, specific, like, hardware. <laughs> Like maybe that's like a really specific to certain hardware or something. No, 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 no. Yeah, we need to take out the specter first. He's gonna be the big damage dealer. Here. Whoa, man! Check out them numbers. Damn. Target to target. That's a lot of damage getting put off on that one, dude. My God. But I didn't think I respect that. Hell. No problem. Yeah, well, you, you need, like, no... You need, like, nothing to run this game. I reckon the laptop I'm currently using could run this game. Okay, how do I open this? I'm gonna go around. Ah, I guess I can go around. Is that a prey? Is that a prey? Oh, that's a prey! Oh, this is gonna go so fast. Oh my god, this battle is gonna... This is gonna be over so quickly. <laughs> <clears throat> Just launch him, baby. <laughs> I really think behemoths are like easiest creatures to launch in this game because there is never a battle where they're not being just launched into the fucking air. Like, bam, look at that. Like, launch, smack, smacky, smack. Look at them numbers, dude. Look at them numbers. Even Hope's doing numbers, and Hope sucks. Oh, but are we going to be able to get him down before that stag runs out? Oh, just. Oh, look at that. Yeah, anyway, listen to these system specs. I reckon this laptop could run it. 256 megabytes of VRAM. I reckon most Intel, like, integrated chips would have that by this point. GTX 460. That's, like, ancient... That card's like ancient, man. Like, that is a very old. <coughs> oh, I'm sure that was a preemptive strike. I don't remember saying it. <coughs> Out of my way! Okay. They should all be. Command kit now. So now we just go straight to the magic. Let's get that stagger up, like. So these guys actually are dealing a little bit of a Holy fucking Jesus, man. Alright, sweet. Let's get one stack. Come on, one pace, one pace, one pace. Hope you still got something left in your shoulder. Target to target. Gosh dang. Heal us up, boy. Heal us up, Bobby. One gigabyte of RAM, two gigahertz dual core, Windows XP, 
GeForce 8 Series card with 256 megabytes. DirectX version 9 and 60 gig of space. The highest spec there for the time that, like, this, for how old this game is, 60 gigabytes, would have actually been a lot. That, that's a big game for 2010. This game came out in 2009. This game originally came out in 2009. So, like, that's a, that's a lot of space for 2009. When did the PC port? 2014 is when the PC port of this game came out. Damn. <clears throat> Five years later. Alright, I'm gonna stop looking at Steam reviews. I'm gonna start playing again. Oh, come on. Keep up with me, Hope. Let's just get this guy down. It really does say a little bit of something about this game, though, when a lot of these battles, like, you know, aside from the one that I lost just before, but it really does say something Easy. when a lot of these battles you can literally just completely zone out and do other shit while doing them. Because, like, I feel like I really have not been paying attention to most of the battles that I've actually done through the entirety of this game. <clears throat> we need to take these small things out first. That much is very clear. Because <clears throat> the worst part is, every single party member, right, they all have to be fighting the same thing. Like, I can't tell Hope, you know, take out the crawlers while I focus on the behemoth. No, they target whatever I'm targeting. See? Like, there's no strategy to, like, potential in Come this on, game what? for a lot of things because of that. Wow, he just threw a heal and so off and I'm dead. Ends. Wow. Thanks, game. And that's what I mean, like, that's why this is so fucking annoying that I only have direct control over one person, because I've complained about that for the, this entire playthrough, I feel like. Is... Having control over only one party member leads to shit like that. Like, for fuck's sake, I just want to make Hope focus on all the other things where I focus on one thing. Or, hell, if we could be attacking two trollers at one time, it would probably lend a lot better. Target to target. Follow my lead. I need you to heal. Like, seriously, really to heal, man. <clears throat> Come on, hurry, hurry up and heal. Time to oh, switch it up. Cast. Oh no, shit, damn it, I screwed that up. I need to start from that first. Now we go dual cast. What the fuck? And so it ends. Jesus Christ, how the fuck did he pull out a 553 out of nowhere? <clears throat> Fuck me, this game really sucks when it comes to, like, those... You, it's really hard to implement strategy into combat that doesn't lend to strategy. Come on, just get the crawlers oh, done. Way. Like, we seriously need these things just taken out, like, as quickly as possible. Like, it wouldn't have mattered if I was at full health. That 553 would have Stay fucking killed me no matter what. Time to switch it up. Come on, Hope. Heal me. Don't worry about yourself. Heal me. I need to be healed. This is why I need direct control over my goddamn party members. Keep up with me, Hope. Alright, now we go to dual cast. We need to get this stagger up, like... <clears throat> Good, we got the stagger. Bring heart back. Put him on war and peace. Jesus Christ, this battle is so 
Whoever's idea it was to not give direct control over party members to you, congratulations, you're a fucking idiot. No one wants to play a Final Fantasy game where they can't actually control what's happening directly. Sorry why Final Fantasy XV didn't do so well. It's not because it was the action-based combat like everyone said it was, no, it's because you literally can't control any of your other characters. <clears throat> Here. Yeah, heal hard. You really need to get on that. Uh, I don't even think he's worth healing. That heave ability is just uh, seriously. That's a really good, uh, uh, sound by lightning, I'll give you that. That's gotta be a one star or a zero star. How is the- okay, how is that four star battle? That was bad even by my standards of this game. <clears throat> you know, if it wasn't for them crawlers, that would have gone a lot fucking quicker, and it's gonna be the exact same with this battle now. It's gonna be the exact same with these low we win if we stay focused. They are gonna distract so hard from the behemoth, I feel. So let's just attack the low Oh, wait, no, the Lobos are hitting the behemoth. They're not even worrying. Oh, good, it's one of these types of battles where the enemies are too busy worrying about each other to worry about me from the start of it. Okay, we're gonna focus on the Lobos. <clears throat> Target's a target. Right. I'm trying to get some stagger off on the feral but Follow my lead. Thing. Finally attack the beneath. That low bar is gonna do a good job distracting the boys. Wait. We're doing good. I don't think we took a single hit that whole battle. That's a that's fucking what we want. And five star because of it. I will level up shortly, I think. But now I want to go explore what's over here. Because they're, it's finally giving me some branching paths to play around with a little bit. To me, that's kind of always a win. <clears throat> Although this is a really big area for one enemy to the point that that's kind of suspicious. Yep, what did I tell you? Sus. Oh god, it's gonna be another one of these stupid battles that I'm gonna use. Halfway. Alright. I got this bomb, dick. Damn, I'm gonna go one pace. I'm gonna go one pace so we're not winning this. Come on, Harp. Hurry. hurry up and get the goals going, man. We need that shit, like, yesterday. Target to target. Come on, Light. He's dead. He's straight up dead, yeah. That heave move right there, instant death. Hope. Thank you. Now hurry up and heal us hard. Seriously. Now oh, for fuck's sake, just Here. heal me. Thank you. My God. Keep up with me, Hope. Like, this is the other thing is why I need to have control over Hope and not just Lightning, because I really just need anyone killing me, because I'm gonna be the one that's gonna be the most likely to actually get the damage going up. Like, he is fucking Okay, now we can go War and Peace, because we can worry, we can just focus Thanks. on letting Lightning just launch this guy. Because launch is an ability that she only seems to have on a staggered enemy. <clears throat> 
And now that everyone's healed, we can switch back to Slash and Burn. Okay, that battle didn't uh, go as a, a loss quite the way I thought it would. That actually turned out a lot better than I initially predicted it would. And we even got five stars. I don't know how that happened. Although Hope did die at one point, so you know. That's obviously something to consider. So because of the way this game works with like cutscenes, retries, like all that sort of stuff, I'm thinking that these long form episodes are kind of really the only way to go with this game, because if I'm only really playing like short, like maybe 20 minute episodes, I'm gonna be playing this game for the next like 50 years on this channel. Uh, hey, hope you're already here, right? You just ran straight to this elevator, like, I need to get out of here, Bobby. Yep, come on. Let me out. Okay. Now we'll save because I want to go into the shop. I think it's Unicorn Mart, is what sells. Yep, here we go. How much gill have we got? 3,000. No, oh, let's just buy three of them then. So, let's just get rid of all of the potions. We really do not need any of these. I don't think I've used a single one. Cast Bravery, Faith, and... Don't know what that even does, because I've never used one. Never used it. Never used it. Never used it. Never used it. But do you know what I have used? I've used Phoenix Downs, so we're just gonna buy all the Phoenix Downs because they realistically are the only thing that's needed because it doesn't matter about anything else, right? Because if the party leader dies, that's it, combat's over. So at least if I can just keep a healer alive, that's enough as far as I'm concerned. Uh, where are we? So Gladius is at level six. Duelers are at level five. Bind Rod level 1, things of like that. You know, we'll level up Hope's item a little bit. <clears throat> Damn, that's some good XP, man. I thought I'd leveled Hope up a little bit with his weapon, but I guess I didn't. It's kind of annoying. Damn, man, he gets some serious bonuses to that magic. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, alright, that's what we need. Now, we'll chuck the rest on Gladius. Hell yeah, alright, we're getting it done. Gummy oil, I wonder if they use that in the gummy ship. Alright, level 8, Gladius. I, what is Millerite? Because it's always here. An aggregate of nickel sulfide functions as a transformation cat. What? What does that mean? What's a transformational catalyst? What does it mean? What does it do for me? Gladius is OP now. Hell yes. <clears throat> That's so good. And I bet now that I've done all that, I'm gonna switch back to fucking, uh, Vanilla and, uh, Saz. Because remember, we still have no fucking clue where the hell Snow is. He's just been gone for most of this game. Like, did they just not afford to pay his voice actor or something? But he has just been gone for majority of the game by this point. We lost him halfway through disc one, and he hasn't come back, and we're, uh, like, on disc two now. Is this like a Tetsuya Nomura situation where he just like forgot certain characters existed, so he just 
like forgotten, you know, existed for like half the game, so we just keep up with me, hope. Come on, like to war and peace, and we need that heal, that sick healing. Or peel yourself, you would have fun. Oh good, now we're dealing with force. Wait, that didn't poison me. Did that miss? Is that the first time that attacks ever missed? I feel like that's the first time that attacks ever missed. Music in this game is so good. Like, legitimately so good. You know, the, like, this is what I mean, like, as long as I've just got one character healing. <clears throat> so it's like a flash burn for a bit. Okay, now we need to put back one piece. Man, these guys really do just, like, tear hope apart a lot of the time. You know what's a helpful stat in most games? Defense. Special defense, normal defense. They're all good. Like, just having one character as a constant healer makes, no like, combat go for, like, way longer, but it makes combat, like, way easier because of it. Alright, well, now that we've done that, let's go to the Crystarium. That's a lot of CP. That's a lot of CP. Okay, that's a full level. Ravager. I think Ravager is what I'm saying. Like, right now. And that is now Ravager fully leveled. Medic. Let's go. Right. Okay, so he needs his medic. I think I have... yeah. I don't even bother with Synergist. Like, I've not bothered with Synergist at all, because, like... It does nothing. Like, I, I, I did use it, I tried, like, having people set as Synergists. <clears throat> and it really just gave no advantage to anything. Like, it really didn't. The only character that has actually needed to use Synergis thus far is Snow. Like, because... Like, all of these are pretty much worthless. Like, it's just health, pretty much. Like, what does that mean? There's not even a way to, like, even like, see how to do it. But yeah, no, I, I have tried using Synergist on multiple characters now, and it's, it's fucking, it's useless. Like, there really is no reason to have anyone set to Synergist I've found. There we go. We need a, we need that. We actually need that as a class. Because there are actually certain situations where me being the heal-off is not a bad thing, honestly. And equipment. Optimize. Offense. Equipment. I think he's already good. I think I'll put him to offense. Yeah. Doesn't matter... Yeah, doesn't matter what I do with Harp, he's gonna keep that silver bangle. <clears throat> Inventory, what do we got? So, I reckon I can sell pretty much all of those weapons, actually, that I'm not using. They add really nothing to anything. But I'll hang on to them just in case. Oh, yay, cutscene. I think we'll end it. We'll do a cutscene, and then I think that's it for this episode.
Watch the cutscene, go back to what the save here? point. Bad luck. Might be a boss. They came looking for us. If this goes straight into a boss fight, then I'll do the boss. We can't just leave them like this. Don't touch anything! <clears throat> Control your emotions. If you want to survive, you forget about sympathy. Ooh, she's so hard. How can I explain? You can't, Lightning. He's a dumbass. Think of it like a strategy. Hmm. Focus on your ultimate goal and shut out everything else. Like what she did with Sarah. Still your mind. Move on instinct. But don't move too quickly. <sighs> Let doubt take over and despair will cripple you. That's true. That's very true, Lightning. It's words to live by. Strategy. Me. Good. I'll take anything to help me get through this. Then take these steroids. I'll call it Operation Nora. Nora? My mother's yeah, name. Yeah, you know, the huge sensor bar that I had to add in the last episode because of what I made that stand for it was not very appropriate. Your revenge? I still yes. remember that. I remember everything. Don't tell me. Remember everything. I know getting Don't revenge worry. on him will bring her back. I know that! I don't understand why he's so click quick to blame Snow for all of his problems. Snow didn't fucking do it. Your mum volunteered knowing the risks, you stupid little whingy bitch. God, I hate her. Snow didn't kill your mother. The same. So even she knows. Whose side are you on? The side of truth. So does everyone knows that his mum wasn't killed by snow except for him? He just wants Fine. to hang on to that. I'll fight the sanctum with you. I'll learn to survive. <clears throat> then put the knife away. You haven't used the knife once. You've been using the fucking boomerang. How can you judge someone else when you know that you're the same? <coughs> Even I have dark secrets. Seriously, he needs to stop pulling Secrets that knife out. I'd rather forget. He's got a goddamn boomerang that he uses in combat. The knife just looks so little piss ant and gay. But it's not intimidating. I don't think I would ever be intimidated by a kid looking like that, holding that knife. But with that being said, with that being said, we're gonna save here. I know, my last save was only a short while ago anyway but I need, to, I need to stop this episode here so we can start a new one um see you in the next one guys